our Royal Caribbean. We are in the Bahamas. We are on our way to Coco Cay, and I thought I would do a live stream while I have internet. Give it a few seconds so everybody catches up. Coming to you live from decade, away from everybody. Having a wonderful time. This ship is amazing. This is my second time on being this ship. Last time was 2007, a long time ago. And this ship has been redone and redone and redone. Uh, and it is wonderful. I love the promenade area. So much fun now. <clears throat> The shops that they have on board now uh, are so much better, especially the signature uh, logo shop. Love what Royal is doing with the merchandise. Uh, actually purchased a shirt myself. Uh, beautiful shirt. Love it. And having a great time. Right now, I am sitting on deck gate in one of the little alcoves away from everybody. Uh, you are overlooking behind me the promenade area. You can see a little bit. Oh, man. Yeah, the Royal Promenade. Behind me, you have the next cruise. You've got the Irish pub. You've got Sorrento's, you've got Vintage's wine bar, amazing. I mean, they need to put Vintage's on every ship. Um, really enjoying that. So yes, today's been a wonderful day, very relaxing, although we have done a lot. Um, we got up this morning and Doug went and got his haircut. Had a great experience in the spa. And um, then after that, we went and, um, gosh, we went into the, the casino and did the um, slot tournament. I can't think. We did the slot tournament. Uh, the first round, I did really well, came in first place, had high hopes. And then, of course, um, the uh, final round, um, they switched us around, and I didn't get a great machine, and so I didn't do that well. But, you know, it is what it is. Had a lot of fun. Arms really tired from banging the buttons uh, and trying to uh, rack up those points. Um, but still a lot of fun, meeting a lot of people. This ship's got a lot of people on it. Um, yeah, a lot of fun here. After we did the slot tournament... We had an appointment to do the wine tasting. The wine tasting was packed, and they actually had so many people wanting to do the wine tasting that they had a second seating for that, too. So good on them for doing that. The uh, sommelier that did the wine tasting did a great job with that. A lot of great information. Uh, if you are new to wine tasting, it would be perfect for you. If you are familiar with wine tasting, I think that you would still enjoy it. Matter of fact, we went to uh, Napa Valley and went to multiple wine tastings and even still had a great time with this. Told us a, a lot about the winery, uh, the types of grapes, the different variety, uh, the different ways of doing the Chardonnay wines that they had. It's a lot of great information. Um, everybody had a great, great time doing that. And one of the wines really surprised me. I love a good Cabernet wine, <clears throat> and uh, their top wine was, of course, a Cabernet, and it really surprised me in the taste. I wasn't expecting to get such a berry fruit flavor at the very beginning of that, and it just went bam. Just was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wine. Uh, very interesting. Really liked it a lot had a great time doing that and so now I just thought that I would come and do a um, live stream for you 
and see what everybody is up to on this Saturday. This Saturday, right? <laughs> Forgetting what day it is on this cruise ship. Welcome everybody who just joined. Welcome. If you just joined, I am aboard the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas. We are sailing in the Bahamas. We are on our way to Coco Cay or Coco Key, however you want to pronounce that. Um, we are having a wonderful time here. The ship is packed full of people having a wonderful time. I am coming to you live from Deck 8, a little alcove. So behind me, you see the Royal Promenade. Behind me, you're going to see the um, where the shops are. They have the next cruise where you can book new cruises while you're on board. They have Vintage's Wine Bar. They have the Irish Pub where they have live music. Um, they have all the other shops such as the jewelry shop, the perfume and makeup shop, um, and they also have the logo shop as well where you can buy the Royal Caribbean logo merchandise. Royal Caribbean, as I said before, is doing a really great job with their merchandising. It's very contemporary, um, nice, nice stuff. I really like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> Things to do on this ship, oh my gosh, uh, there is so much to do on this ship that you just can't do it all. Um, we've tried to do a lot today and um, just haven't been able to get all of it done. Pretty hot on deck right now. Um, this morning we had a little bit of rain and our internet was out for most of the morning, um, but <clears throat> right now it's doing pretty good. I'm getting a good signal. Hi there. Deb, I can't even see that. Yes, wine. Ah, yes, wine. Um, <clears throat> having a great time. Um, <clears throat> we There's a show tonight, I think, and uh, we have dinner at 7.15. Uh, it's difficult to try to get everything done and do your dinner. Um, last night, we went to Izumi. Uh, hibachi and had a great time um, the food was delicious the show was really nice the first time I've experienced that on a ship I've been trying to do that in different ships and finally found a ship that had the hibachi and loved it absolutely loved it it's great um, great time there if anybody has any questions feel free to shoot um, I'll try to answer any kind of questions that you have about this ship, Royal Caribbean. I'm not an expert, but, you know, I'm here. <laughs> um, one of the things that we did today, uh, we went around the ship and did some videoing of... Hi there! Uh, we did some videoing of a lot of the art that is on this ship. On some of the ships, you're going to see kind of cardboard art and uh, it's not that great of art. On this ship, there is a lot of real art uh, by uh, a lot of Norwegian artists and some of the American artists. Let me see what she said. Hi, Kelly Hicks from South Carolina. Have a giant glass of wine for me. I plan on having another giant glass of wine and maybe two or three. <laughs> um, so today we went around the ship and videoed some of the art that's on this ship and some of it is really interesting. Um, some of the pieces are, um, they're on the, like, the back wall and they are made of granite with the design etched into it. Um, I thought it was super neat. Um, so really enjoyed doing that. I spent about an hour and a half, two hours just going around the ship filming some of the art. Um, and one of the little... Um, alcove areas they have a giant amethyst uh, crystal geode uh, on a pedestal that is beautiful um, yeah the art on this ship is really nice I like it a lot so Kelly do you have any questions for me about cruising and thank you for joining me on this live stream I really appreciate that Kelly knows me by the way so <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, and I just thought I would come and do a live stream, let you see the ship a little bit, uh, get an idea of what's going on on the ship. Um, um, 
And um, you don't have to wear a mask while you're inside. Outside on the deck, uh, you don't have to. Uh, all the kids have to wear a mask. And um, the all the adults have to be vaccinated. So it is an all-vaccinated cruise for anybody 12 years and older, which is nice. Um, Royal Caribbean is, and is joining with some of the other cruise lines to where you have to get tested uh, 48 hours before boarding the ship. Uh, for hours, it was three days. Um, and so everybody has already been tested before boarding the ship. Um, starting soon, all the cruise lines are going to start going with um, testing uh, 48 hours before you embark on the cruise ship. How many people on board? Um, there's probably about 2,000 people on this ship. This ship can hold about 4,500. This ship can hold about 4,500, 4,800. Um, it's a fairly large ship. Um, there is plenty of spaces to get away from people. There are plenty of ways that you don't have to be right next to other people. And again, everybody is wearing masks. Um, you are uh, probably safer on this ship than you probably could be anywhere else. Everything is cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Um, hands wa hand washing stations everywhere, hand sanitizing stations everywhere. Um, it is super, super safe. Um, everybody's wearing their mask around. Um, so not anything that you have to worry about on that. You just have to um, take regular precautions. And if you don't feel safe, you can always move. You can always go outside. You can go to your cabin. You can go to your balcony. Plenty of places where you can go to feel safer if you want to. Uh, for the most part, everything is open on this ship. This ship has a lot of activities on the top deck. They have the Flow Rider, which is the uh, surf simulator. Um, they have the rock climbing wall. They have the uh, miniature golf. Uh, they have water slides on this ship. Um, yeah, they've got tons and tons of stuff uh, just waiting for you to come and have a lot of fun. Um, and that's what you'll do is you'll have a lot of fun. Um, even with all the protocols that are going on, it's still a lot of fun. And if you just want to do nothing at all, you can just do nothing at all. That's fun too. Um, everybody needs a little relaxation. And uh, this is a perfect way to do that. The food has been really good so far. Um, we went to El Loco Fresh for lunch, which is Royal Caribbean's Mexican restaurant. It's free, by the way, which is nice. And the food was delicious. That guacamole, oh, the guacamole was so good. Loved it. Let's see. Yes, right now they are limiting the capacity um, for a lot of the ships. Um, this is a holiday cruise, so they didn't have to limit it. Um, they had all the sales they, they pretty much wanted to for this one, so uh, it'd been a holiday cruise. Uh, some of the other ones, they are um, still trying to get more people to book. The Delta variant is not helping a whole lot, unfortunately. It is what it is. So um, there's a lot of good deals out there. You can grab a good deal and go on a cruise. Uh, you just kind of have to do a couple of things to uh, before you get on the ship, um, like get your testing, uh, make sure you're vaccinated, um, and you have to be vaccinated to go to the Bahamas, period. You just, you just do. The Bahamas are requiring it, so it's something that you have to do. Otherwise, you can't cruise. Uh, if you want to go on a different ship somewhere else, maybe you can do that, I don't know. Uh, but if it's, if you're not one to be vaccinated, you know what? This is not the vacation that you need to do. You need to pick something different. Um, if you do have kids under 12, um, they do have to be tested. They do have to wear a mask uh, while they're inside as well. Um, but yeah, it's still a fun vacation. Um, this cruise here proves that uh, you can go on a cruise. You can go on a cruise, have to wear a mask inside, and it's still a lot of fun. No big deal. You know, we wear masks uh, in other places. It's not a huge deal. So 
uh, we just need to um, get vaccinated and get back to life uh, and do what we need to do to still socialize, still vacation, still have fun. Um, yeah. Always wear your mask right now. It's the safest way to vacation. And yeah, there, there is a lot of people on this cruise. Um, I went on a cruise on Adventure of the Seas earlier in... Um, you're very welcome. Thank you for the question. If you have any other questions, you let me know. Um, I went on a cruise in July for my birthday on Adventure of the Seas. It was an all-vaccinated cruise as well. Um, and I have to say that there were less people on that cruise, um, but we still had a great time. Uh, there were still a lot of uh, things to do. Uh, you didn't have to wait for to do anything. So if you wanted to uh, do uh, any of the activities on board, you really didn't have to wait that much. Even uh, doing rock climbing, um, there were, wasn't really a line to do that. So anybody could whip up there, do it, and then you can leave too. Um, love the way the t-shirt. Oh, thank you so much. I love the t-shirt. I got this right here at the Gap. <laughs> Uh, a couple of months ago, uh, Gap had these t-shirts on sale for about $10 each, something like that. Uh, so I got a couple of these tie-dye t-shirts, and uh, yeah, it kind of does blend into the, to the Royal Caribbean background here. Um, just so you can see the, so I point to these. These right here are promenade staterooms. These staterooms actually look over to the promenade so you can sit in your room and watch people walk by and stuff like that inside. Uh, <laughs> and um, it allows you to see what's going on and stuff like that. Before COVID, you know, they did like a big balloon drop on the first night. Uh, they had this like, um, uh, like a party and a parade. Um, and so since COVID, they don't have that. Um, I found those cabins to be a little bit loud for me. Uh, a lot of people love those cabins though. And um, so they have tons of those cabins, the promenade inside cab cabins. Sorry about that. Um, I'm sitting here in front of all the elevators and it is formal night. And all these people are, I uh, missed it. All these people are dressed to the nines. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh. But yeah, these people are dressed to the nines for their formal dinner. This is my formal. <laughs> I don't do formal. But yes, we're having a great time. Uh, it's very relaxing on this ship. We just went up to the Crown and Anchor, well, not Crown and Anchor, the Viking Crown Lounge, and they were having a uh, special event up there. That's where I was going to do the live stream. Um, but I guess it's working out pretty good here. Um, this ship, uh, the last time I was on this ship was 2007. Uh, as I said at the very beginning of this, uh, this ship has underwent... Um, a couple of transformations and the latest one was their amped up transformation uh, and they've done a superb job with it they have the uh, coconut bar what is it coconuts lime and coconuts bar out on the top deck they have a really nice children's area uh, uh, water park water area um, sprinklers and stuff like that for, for small kids. And then they have the regular pool. Um, they have the a local Fresh Mexican restaurant out there that's free. Uh, as I said before, that's where I ate lunch today, and it was delicious. I uh, had a great time there. And um, so, yeah, we're going to the um, dining room tonight for dinner. Our... Reservation is for 7.30. I'm not sure what we'll do before that. So come on, guys. Give me some questions here. It's hard to sit here and talk and talk and talk. <laughs> I'm going to run out of things to say.
Let's see, what was that? Uh, well, let me show you. I'll show you what's going on right here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Forgive the shakiness of the camera. And I'm going to switch it around. And... There's the promenade. You can see people milling about around there. They're taking photos of people. You have the R bar right over there. Next cruise right there. So yeah, it's a very beautiful ship. Being on Royal is like being back home. Sorry, I'm not in the greatest uh, position to do, to show the ship. So I'm not, as I said, I'm not in the greatest position to show the ship. And the reason why is because I am in a really small alcove area um, to get away from everybody and make sure that I'm away from everybody. And so the cruises that the Freedom of the Seas does out of Miami is they do a weekend cruise from Friday to Monday, which is one that I'm on right now. And then they also do a Monday to Friday cruise. <clears throat> and so this one has a sea day which is really nice. I love sea days. And tomorrow we go to Royal Caribbean's uh, private island, Coco Cay or Coco Key, however you want to pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> and that island has been completely redone from anything you could ever remember from before or the last five years. Um, <clears throat> they have a water park there that has the tallest it's over a little bit they have the tallest water slide in north america um, they have multiple slides there they have a wave pool uh, that part of the park uh, you have is a little bit of an upcharge for that so you have to pay a little bit extra to go to that but the rest of the island for the most part is uh, free you can go and hang out on the beach the umbrellas and chairs are free at Chill Island. That's my favorite place to go. <clears throat> and um, they also have um, like a VIP area that you can go to that you can pay for that as well. Um, I'm not too much into the VIP areas. Um, and then um, they have all the food on the island is included. If you get the drinks package, then that is also included while you're there. So you can uh, use your drinks package to drink all you want there. Um, they have the snack shack. There has the best fried chicken sandwich that you're going to find. Well, that you're going to find on a cruise ship. <laughs> it's really good, though. That's one of the things that a lot of people talk about. We got it the last time that we went there and really enjoyed it. Um, and then they also have some good barbecue chicken there, too. Um, they have a shuttle service so that when the cruise docks at the pier, um, you can take a uh, shuttle over into various parts of the island. It's free. A uh, really quick way of getting to where you want to go. Um, and then also whenever you're getting ready to leave, a really quick way of getting back to the ship as well. It is really hot in the Bahamas. And so the last time I went there, we kind of went over there, laid out for maybe 45 minutes, went and ate, and came back to the ship. It was just way too hot. Not sure what we're going to do this time. We'll see what the day is. It's been very rainy in the Miami area over the last couple of days. So 
Uh, it kind of depends on what the weather is also there too. That's my style too. I like just laying around at the beach and just watching the water and relaxing. I like that. There is also a, the, it's also the largest freshwater pool uh, in the Caribbean. Um, and it, they have a walk up, swim up bar, sorry. Uh, they have a swim up bar there that you can swim up to the bar and have your drinks while you're sitting in the water. Um, it's kind of that Miami style or that Las Vegas style type of pool sitting. Um, some house music. Um, yeah, so a lot of fun for that. But uh, we will probably just chill. Uh, we actually may even just stay on the ship. Uh, one of the nice things about that is whenever the, pool, the ship docks, if you um, don't go over to Coco Cay, you can also just enjoy the ship itself. And so you don't have to wait for the slides that are on the ship. Um, you can do all the slides. You can do the, the mini golf, uh, all the activities that are on the ship. You can do those while everybody else is over on Coco Cay. So I like doing that usually. Uh, also, if you just want to sit by the pool, it's a perfect time to sit by the pool because nobody's by the pool. Uh, really nice. But that's what um, we'll probably do. Uh, we may go over to Coco Cay, walk around, maybe, um, I don't know, have no idea. This trip, not making any plans at all. Whenever I make plans, they always fall through. Yes, I'll probably drink. <laughs> uh, my favorite drink on cruise ships are a Blue Long Island. Um, I started getting that when I was on a carnival ship and fell in love with that drink. And so even at home in Miami. That's generally what I try to get if I can. I love that drink. It's delicious. And if you don't know what it is, look it up. I think you'll like it too. And it is better with um, better alcohols and not well alcohols. You know, that Pepe Lopez stuff that's $2.99 a bottle. Um, use better alcohols for it. I'm not a really big gin person, but I do like the gin mixed in with that a little bit because it gives a little bit better flavor. So yeah, or if you don't like that, then you can always have a blue, uh, blue um, margarita. They do have bingo. They do have comedy shows. The comedy show was last night. Um, the unfortunate thing about um, um, when we got on the ship is you have to uh, reserve a lot of the times. And we weren't able to reserve our times for those things. So we kind of missed out on that. But they do have the comedy shows. They do have the bingo. Um, they have the ice skating show. Um, they have various shows. You just have to reserve time for it. And you need to do that as soon as you get on board the ship. Royal Caribbean has their Royal Caribbean app. And as soon as you get on board, you connect to their Wi-Fi. And you can start reserving all the stuff that you want to do. We got on the ship late. Um, probably close to about four o'clock in the afternoon and so a lot of other people were already on the ship booking up stuff so we kind of missed out on a few things um yeah so especially with um probably two-thirds of the ship being full here uh things booked up a lot quicker so that's one of the big tips that i can give you about cruising on any of these ships these days that use an app to where you have to reserve time for the events, the shows. Um, you want to go ahead and as soon as you get on the ship, go ahead and start booking things up so that you don't miss out. Um, they do have things that are for uh, only vaccinated people for different cruise lines, um, especially for cruise lines that do allow unvaccinated people. Uh, MSC would be one of those that allow unvaccinated people. Uh, and so you have to reserve specific times if you want to go for the vaccinated um, period of one of those shows. Uh, as a matter of fact, MSC had different showings. They had two showings uh, for a mixed, for vaccinated and not vaccinated. And then they had one for all vaccinated. Uh, so it gave you a little bit better chance to do things. On this ship, there is so much to do that regardless, there's no way I could do it all. Uh, it's just so much to do here. Um, there's 
there's uh, trivia, there's wine tasting like we did today. Um, matter of fact, I m mentioned this earlier today, we did a wine tasting at the Vintages, Vintages Bar. Um, really interesting. They did a great job. We had four wines. Uh, we got to taste two Chardonnays. We got to taste a Merlot and a Cabernet Sauvignon. And the uh, first Chardonnay was an unoaked uh, Chard uh, Chardonnay, meaning that it hasn't been stored in, in an oak barrel. And it was a lot more acidic, more uh, citrusy. Uh, then the next one was one that was in oak, but it still wasn't really oaky flavored. Um, it was okay. Uh, I, I'm not really fond of Chardonnays that much. And it was uh, okay. Um, enjoyed both of those, actually. The Merlot. I'm not a big fan of Merlots either. Merlots have a lot of tanning to it. So that would have been really good with a steak. And when I was drinking it, that's exactly what I was imagining, that I was eating a steak. Um, so that was really good. But the one that really surprised me, as I said very earlier in this um, was the uh, Cabernet. Cabernets tend to be very spicy, um, spicy with fruit, fruit flavor to it. And this was, as soon as you put the wine in your mouth, it tasted like blueberry is, or blackberry. Just It was just that berry flavor. I, I've never had a wine do that. So it was very different Cabernet than I've ever had before. And the sommelier did a really good job. So if you're ever on a ship that does uh, the wine tastings, it's a lot of fun. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was about 30 bucks a person. Uh, and you get to taste four different wines. Took about an hour and a half. Um, yeah. When I was on MSC, though, their wine tasting was about $130 a person. And I'm not sure if they, like, gave each person a bottle. Don't know. I thought that was really, really expensive. So, yeah. Couldn't tell you what the experience is like on it because that didn't happen. Um, but, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're going on 6 o'clock. And I thought that I would do a live stream and give you guys an update on what's going on on this ship. Uh, Royal Caribbean is getting all of their ships out and um, they're booking. So if you are longing for a cruise, you don't mind the protocols. It's a lot of fun still. There's still a lot to do. They're still going to amazing places. And if you just want a quick, quick getaway, hey, Coco Cay is a wonderful place to go. Um, and if you don't want to be around a bunch of children, Coco Cay is a wonderful place to go because they have Chill Island and it's relaxing. They have some other places that you can pay a little bit extra for to be by yourself a little bit more. Uh, even better, you know, and the food's free on, on the island. Um, so a lot of fun. Anybody else have any questions? I really appreciate the questions. It helps a lot. Cabernet it is. Cabernet is my best. I love it. I love Cabernet wine. Uh, it's my favorite. We went wine tasting in Napa Valley and Sonoma Valley and had some of the best Cabernets that I've ever had in my life. It was so much fun. And that's one reason why whenever I get a chance to do wine tasting, like I did on this cruise ship, uh, I take that chance because it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Anybody else have any questions there? What have you always wanted to know about a cruise ship? I also would say that I love my balcony cabin on this cruise ship. It's one of the best balcony cabins that I have ever had. It is a spacious balcony cabin. So if you're looking uh, online to book your um, balcony cabins, that's the class that it is. Um, it's in the bump out area of this ship. I'm so surprised at how much space there is in the cabin. It's just wonderful. Our cabin attendant is also wonderful as well. She introduced her, herself as soon as we got there. Um, 
gave us our bucket of ice water, ice, ice and stuff. So, yeah, cabin attendant is wonderful as well. So really enjoying this cruise. This is the last cruise that I have scheduled right now until November. I do have another one scheduled in November. It is a family cruise. Um, this one was kind of spur of the moment. Uh, booked this one like within a week before it left. And from what I hear from some other people, there's a good bit of people on this ship that kind of did the same thing. Kind of booked it last minute. Um, good deals going around for all these cruises. So if you can spare the time and you don't mind the protocols, wonderful vacation. Um, they are excited to have us back. Um, the people are wonderful on this ship. So nice. So nice. Um, yeah, having a great time. Okay, so if we don't have any more questions, I'm going to sign off and get ready for dinner. I want to thank everybody for joining me this evening. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash journey with Josh. Uh, I really would appreciate subscriptions. I'm trying to get to that 1000 mark um, that everybody wants to get to. I haven't got there yet, but I am getting I'm about a little over halfway there. So I'd really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Click on the thumbs up button on a couple of my videos so YouTube likes me. I really appreciate that. Um, and I will be releasing more videos from the Adventure of the Seas when I get back off this ship. I have some more videos from my MSC cruises coming up. Um, and yeah, a lot more coming up on these videos. Um, I'm not making any money on this right here, so I'm not like a lot of other vloggers trying to make money. I just want to get to the thousand mark uh, just for the accomplishment of it. I love sharing the experiences with people. Um, and want to let everybody know that cruising can be for anybody. If you want to do a lot of activities, there's lots of activities for everybody. If you just want to sit and read, you can just sit and read and relax. There's anything for anybody on a cruise ship. So with that said, I guess I will say good night. Thank you again for joining me and, um, hop on over to YouTube and subscribe to my channel over there. Really appreciate it. And as always, thank you guys for tripping with me.